Welcome back to my channel. So today is my three week review on the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. If you remember or if you uh, look back a few weeks ago, three weeks ago actually, I did a video on this new foundation from Maybelline that I received from Influencer to test out and give my honest review on after three weeks of using the product. Um, I'm actually wearing the foundation today and you are going to get my honest review on what I think of the foundation and some tips and tricks I've learned over the three weeks in applying the foundation or wearing the foundation throughout the day. So I'm going to insert some images in here somewhere of when I first started using the foundation on day one and then an image of me barefaced today on a three week mark. In my other videos, the makeup videos I've done recently, you see that I'm actually using this foundation um, because I was supposed to wear it every day. That's part of the challenge to make sure it works. Of course, you use it every day for three weeks. And um, I have been using my MAC foundation brush to apply it. I think I have normal skin and I do notice that with any foundation I wear throughout the day, I tend to get a little bit patchy in the T-zone area. And I have been meaning to buy a beauty blender just because I felt like and had heard that it applied better with a beauty blender, but I just used my foundation brush from MAC um, every day up until today. I think the application of the product, it went on really smooth, and in my opinion, it's a medium coverage foundation that is easily buildable. I would suggest or recommend using a beauty blender when applying it slightly dampened today though I used my small stipple brush from elf and if you follow me on snapchat you will see that I actually picked it up last night it's a three dollar brush and it is great I used that one to actually apply it today and I feel like I got a nicer application especially in this area here um, the product did not oxidize throughout the day, so no color variation. It stayed true to color all day. I personally feel like I noticed a slight difference in my skin, and you can compare yourself, look at the pictures that I'll put in here, and you tell me what you think. But I feel like I had a slightly noticeable less amount of redness in my skin tone just from using the product. So I don't normally have a like skincare routine or anything I usually just clean my face with um, makeup remover wipes and I may put some kind of moisturizing cream on it at night and that's about it I wouldn't say that I had less blemishes or anything I really don't break out um, quite often so I couldn't really tell you about that um, I don't feel like the dark spots well which I don't really have those other than the dark circles under my eyes I don't feel like that changed drastically but I do feel like the redness that I have around my mouth and nose um, I do feel like that lightened up a little bit and that's just within the three week time frame so I definitely would recommend this foundation I will definitely continue to use the foundation um, I didn't really do a long drawn out demonstration of me applying it because I mean that's pretty simple and in my other videos you've seen me using the foundation and applying it so I'll put a short quick little clip in here of me applying it today with the stipple brush I was talking about just so you can see how it went on and um, yeah, nothing but good things to say about it. Um, I also liked the fact that it had SPF protector in it because it has been blazing here. Um, it's been a little bit rainy the last few days, but or cloudy the last few days, but other than that, even though I'm not outside much, the foundation did wear pretty much all throughout the day, my eight, nine hour days. Uh, the only thing I can say, which is good for any foundation, um, is that it it didn't start to my skin didn't start to really peek through until about 4 35 close to time to leave work every day and that would still be in that t-zone area so i guess i have a slightly oily t-zone um and i think that applying it with the foundation brush kind of just streaked it a little bit more so i would have to go back over it in powder but again the stipple brush or the um, beauty blender would be the best choices or options when applying this foundation. 
Thanks again to Influencer and Maybelline for allowing me to test out this product. And I definitely will be purchasing it again. I loved it. I know they're going to have some pros and cons in every product you use. And personally for me, this product worked. Let me know what you think. If you've tried it, leave me some comments down below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you girls next time. Bye.